The EPA ranked indoor air quality as a high-priority health risk. Syracuse University PhD student Ting Ting Pei is researching indoor air cleaning technologies. She says the chemicals from many household items are getting trapped inside. Buildings become more and more airtight for, to, to save energy, so it's airtight and there's not enough ventilation. Healthway in Pulaski has developed indoor air purification systems that capture and kill chemicals, bacteria, viruses, allergens, and other harmful particles that get trapped indoors. Executive VP of Sales at Healthway, Vinny Labdell, says people are becoming more aware of what is in the air. The EPA has really made a focal point on indoor air quality being a number one health concern. So domestically, air purifiers have been sold, you know, Readily, they're readily available since the mid to late 80s, um, and now it's become more and more of a trend. There are billions of allergens all around me, and the value of clean air may not have a price tag, but for some hotels, going completely pure may be costly. Your customer is going to say, okay, we have a floor that's a pure room, and then we have a, you know, our regular rooms, and then automatically in their mind they're going to say, well, why aren't your other rooms like that? Derek U. Sheridan Hotel Manager Gil Reyes says they clean with hypoallergenic cloths and use safer cleaning products. They also use hypoallergenic pillows and comforters. But Labdell says that's only one part of a multiple step process. The indoor environment takes more than just air cleaning. It takes a several step process to create a healthy indoor environment. Alyssa Raymond, NCC News.